and welcome to a new Volkswagen T Rock Cabrio. So I'm just gonna jump straight inside to have this exclusive first look. You can see the interior, longer doors, R-line badge. We have leather seats with our badges. So if you wanna enter on the back, you can do it like that. So I'm just gonna jump straight in. You can see familiar interior with the R-line badging. This is all mostly the same. We have driving mode here, parking services, automatic parking, TSG. And then on the bottom, what's new, we have to open or close the roof or all windows. So I'm gonna pop the key. Actually, it's wireless. So while the key's next to me, let's do the all windows. Of course, we need to start the engine. I mean, the electronics. So this is all windows up. We can lower all windows down, as you can see, so you can have no B pillar in the middle. This is the back look. Nice roof. This is how the top looks. A little bit different, thinner sun visor with a privacy mirror that doesn't extend. So let's open the roof. As you can see, it closes pretty fast. And then we can see on the top, even for a tall person, there's plenty of space. You can lower yourself, uh, move backwards so I can show you the look. Of course, uh, R-Line badge and the R-Line version. Good overview in the front, uh, beat speakers. And this is pretty much it. Uh, we're gonna exit to show you the exterior when the roof is down. So interior. Now there's plenty of room on the back. I've been sitting on the back. This is when the uh, soft, close, uh, soft roof is closed. We have a spoiler. If I back up, you can see the design. Interesting diffuser. If we pump the trunk, you can see Again, if I back up the height, uh, it's kind of small, but it's wide. So you can open here for extra, a little bit extra storage. You have here uh, extra protection for the wind if you want to put it uh, on the rear. And then the light here, you can knock down those rear seats. If I knock down one of them, you can see uh, kind of smaller uh, space, but still you can put something longer if you want. The space is a little bit shorter, uh, smaller because of the uh, folding roof, of course, but it doesn't press your stuff. It's divided by this area, so uh, your luggage is protected. This is manual. So on the R-Line we have a black finished spoiler, and we have uh, this uh, diffuser. I'm gonna show you the standard package, but if I back up, uh, this is really elegant and Volkswagen is trying to just milk uh, a golden chicken uh, to get more golden eggs because T-Rock is a great seller. This is the petrol version. Another look on the top. We close the seats. This is how it looks. Now, uh, if you flip over, this will pop out with a, uh, like, U. Uh, protections that will, uh, in case of rollover, will protect your head. And the front looks uh, pretty much the same. Again, just a different uh, lip on the bottom. There's a lot of people here. This is the tray day. Uh, on the press day, this car was not here, so we can see the lip on the bottom. The rest is classic T-Rock. So it looks pretty nice. This will be nice uh, on the road cruising. Volkswagen is of course aiming uh, to a uh, younger audience and those who feel like that uh, despite their age. We can see the roof closing as well. On the back we have a, of course, hard glass, not plastic. And then we can see here, this is the regular version. We have aluminum protection. Maybe this is better, less sportish, but uh, better protection. Now we can see when the roof is closed. 
gonna walk here so we can see how it looks from the exterior. We have a two windows. Uh, this one has the blue interior with the uh, manual six speed, if I'm not mistaken. And then bottom protection. Uh, we have a glass piece here. And then this is black on the bottom, the spoiler, but it's blue on the top. And if we see, you can see like the two cars. Uh, this one has a little bit aluminum protection. Of course, the real exhaust is on the bottom. But if I back up, you can see how it looks with the uh, soft top uh, covered, covering the roof. And you can see how it looks without the roof. Uh, I think it looks pretty good. Uh, a little weird, excuse me, a little weird, um, but this is how it looks again from the side when it's opened. Uh, the doors are longer for easier access. And then um, I think I'm going to just jump in the back just to show you how it looks. So this is the look, uh, a little bit weird, but uh, now I'm super long, two meters tall, so uh, my knees could fit on the side. If a uh, regular size person was on the front, again, look. And then you have AC with a two USB C chargers. So a uh, large speaker on the back. So you can put a cover here that you saw on the back to cover this area. And then maybe a little bit of cover here uh, for less uh, wind noise. Of course, this goes up if you want to. And that's the first look of the Volkswagen t rock Cabrio. Slide the seats back. Now there's a good ceiling over here, so there will be no water going in. Now this model is uh, still has the protection without the chrome line. Um, and this area is uh, not covered with it, so uh, this is covered, as you can see. So this was the comparison of both models. This model has cloth seats, as you can see the finish. And then inside is pretty much the same, just with the blue uh, interior and the six speed manual. Um, I hope you liked this video. Uh, please leave a comment below what you think about the new T-Rock Cabrio. If you wanna see more car reviews, I'm in Frankfurt Auto Show, make sure to subscribe. Uh, because some of the cars weren't here on the press day, they're here on a trade day. So make sure to watch that and there's interesting police car here that I'm going to check out. Uh, see you in the next video. As always, stay safe on the road. Like this video if you like it. Leave your comment below what do you think. And subscribe to the channel if you want to see more content. And don't forget in that case to click the little bell to get notification when I upload a new video. See you in the next one. Bye.